I thought my microphone was a person. Jesus. <clears throat> good, good, yes. Good stuff. Oh, no, Steam is updating. <coughs> well, we have my face. It's good. We'll start with my face. Uh, maybe I should tell puns. I can't think of any. Puns are not something you tell on on the spot. It's just something that happens in the middle of a conversation. Oh, I forgot to check my phone. Do we understand? Hmm. I hope I'm not gonna have a jittery stream. That would be dumb. But I did. <laughs> I did boost it to 1400 KB KB uh, KB uh, I am having issues with the letter P KBPS thank Jesus oh, my goodness um, you know I bumped it up to 1400 yay <laughs> oh man Lucian you haven't been in here for a live stream in a long time actually stealth stream surprise I know I used to like give heads ups like a week in advance but then I became an adult and now I can't do that anymore <laughs> I was like I don't I don't know what the weekend holds for me things could happen in between now and Saturday you know strange things that involve uh, oh I do not have the game set up yet Pfft, games not open <laughs> we get me in this super cool stream or yeah st stream I almost said Steam. Stream overlay. My goodness. Um, Steam. Stream. Oh, my English is not working with me today. Stream overlay. Oh, my goodness. Um, but, you know, no, no stuff. No, no, no cookies. I don't know where I was going with that. All of my fluff in it with like the English language totally. You know what? We're probably about to get deafened by The Sims 3. Hang on. I need to make sure that this is this is quiet because <laughs> this game blasts your eardrums. Okay, I think it's fine. We're going to lower it again anyway. <laughs> Words are hard, yes. Oh, excuse me. Oh, Oh, mm -hmm. I have dad sneezes. <coughs> oh my goodness. Oh my god. <coughs> Welcome to the sneeze stream. Oh. My, my word. Oh, oh. Ooh, I'll have to do a bop after that one. One second. was insane. <laughs> I was sneezing like, oh man. Ah, oh, that threw me off. Hello, epic Scottish man. Oh, I had to run off because the we started sneezing and it was it was a little, it's a little crazy. All right, we have a super cool. Oh my god, I'm still trying to. Yay, Mr. Five Y Y. Oh, I haven't even connected the game yet. <laughs> I'm looking over here like, why is it black? Because I haven't connected it. My goodness. I had to... I had to run to the... The bathroom. Because... Oh, there we go. There we go. Yay! Whew! Uh, sneezes took a victim. I was sneezing like mad and... Bathrooms were required. I can still feel more sneezes. It's... It's 
awful. I have the world's worst allergies. It got better when I moved out and I didn't have to live with my... <laughs> I didn't have to live with my cat anymore. Because uh, I'm allergic to her, but... They're back. Alright, so there's this... Oh wait, no, that's that's one you have to pay for. I could swear I got a super cool new place. But maybe I didn't. Oh, these are like these ones cost money. Oh wow, these are these are neat. Where are these places? I'm gonna have to look into getting these super neat places. Well, we have Starlight Shores, which you know is eh. my favorite place to go is Moonlight Falls because it's like I think I've played like every single game in here. Hey, Kane! Oh man, we have the we have the gang popping in. Look at this. Now I don't look like a sad. A sad person. Oh, you can't see my mouse. I forgot about that. But like, the, during the week, I'd like pop in here and there would be no chat. Ornamental pear tree. The, oh, I found it. Find the aspen tree. I don't know what an aspen tree is. Is that an aspen? Oh, there we go. Tall fir tree. Well, that's the tallest tree in the thing. Summer snacks. Is it this one? Yep. Holiday smiles photo booth. Found it. The Merrygold. Oh, there it is. Just peeking in the corner of a bench. Hey, Leah! Woohoo! Oh, man! My nose is still, like, killing me. Buckhorn. What, what on earth is a buckhorn? Maybe I should turn on my mouse. Hang on. We need to turn on my mouse. Uh, capture mouse cursor. Yes. There we go. <laughs> Epic art bark. I am okay. I'm just gonna have to. I, I'm just gonna have to like put out a warning. I'm having like language issues today. Letters are getting replaced. I I don't know what's going on. Whoa! Wow. What is what is Moonlight Falls suddenly look so cool? It's all like dark and mysterious looking. Probably because it's in the middle of the night or something. Whew. All right, let's see. Click this button to choose a household from the town. Oh my gosh, I'm gonna sneeze again. Ah! This is killing me. <laughs> Whew. All right. We're gonna just keep moving forward like nothing's happening. All right, let's go to the creative sims. <coughs> oh, jeez. <coughs> oh, come on. I was perfectly fine for the good hour that I was awake before this. Sat down at my desk and I'm sneezing a mile a minute. You're you're John Cena. -ing. Oh my god. Okay, who are we creating? Somebody help me out here. I need Ooh, I need goals. Ugh my gosh, good live stream. Jeez, stop I blew Ah, I'm fine. I'm fine. The sneezes are making me all over the place. Good. All right. Who's our family this week? We have we have loads of, uh, of options available to us. I mean, we could make the tw the Twilight crew. I think we did that once. That was kind of funny. In which case, I may actually be able to go back out because I think I I think I still have them. If we wanted to make, I did find out that there are like amazing Twilight references in this. I mean, first of all, the town is called Moonlight Falls. So get it? Twilight. There's a character named... What was it? Bane or Baya Swain or something like that? I, I don't know. It was, it was something really obvious that I'd never noticed before because I'm like... No, I can't hear the, the Discord. I think I have it either set to... New messages. So many story. Oh, oh, hang on. I gotta go all the way down. <laughs> yeah, I can't hear it. Streamer mode is enabled. That's why. If you have, if you have streamer mode, heart streamer mode. <laughs> so no, I can't. Once I started live streaming, it turned off sounds for. What is with the chat? There's. It's not, it's not scrolling all the way. I have to pop out of the game again. Hang on. <clears throat> oh, here we go. Our horn bot. Oh, it did it again! Well. Alright. 
I can't I can't prove this to you, but Twitch is like scooting the chat like down one. So I can't see the one after Kane, which I think is lack. Whew. So awesome. Okay, right. Yeah. Who are we doing? Who who are who are we creating in this this beautiful world? We could do I just rubbed my eye. Did I just take off my makeup? I don't think so. I don't think it's fine. <laughs> oh man. Airhorn bot. Streamer mode owns John Cena. Yes. This is truth. This is much the truth. Okay. All seriousness. <sighs> okay. Make Windy. <laughs> I don't know what Windy looks like. It's Windy. Windy is our, uh, our, our, our resident stream member. Let's, uh, I have to have pictures. <laughs> oh man. This is cool. Is it, is it really dark for you guys? Hang on. I'm gonna fix the live stream. I think my gamma's down. I mean, like, I don't, I don't know. <laughs> this is what it's at. Oh, my face is not fitting. Let me know if it's, if it's super, um, we're just gonna stretch that a little bit because my OCD requires this to fit. Yes. Human Carl for the win. Well, wait now. See, we can make robots in this game. So, maybe we should wait to make Carl because we can build a robot. Hey, I'm not going to kill him. We could build a robot. So, let's make someone to build a robot. <laughs> I didn't kill him, okay? I tortured him. There's a big difference. Uh, also, is this, is this game like super dark for you guys or is that just... Is that just me going crazy? Because it looks really dark. Let's go with that. I don't know why. I don't know why it looks so dark. As compared to what I'm saying. Ah, Twitch! Mecha Carl? Yes, that's... Oh, wait, what did Lucian say? Where is he? Where is he? Where is he? Make Trump bot and build balls around him. Oh, my... <clears throat> what did Lucy had say? I missed that. Oh, there he is. Mecha Carl. Well, alright, so we'll we'll make we'll make him later. How about that? We'll make him later. Uh I like the vampire race because you can make them immortal, but maybe that's just me. I want to make my characters immortal. Um <laughs> uh, we can also make a ghost character or a genie. Or we can we can randomize we can randomize the sim. Maybe we should do that. We'll randomize him. All right, you ready? Let's. Oh, we can randomize the name. Oh wait, here we go. We can randomize the sim. All right, let's make some random sims. <coughs> Aw, he's kind of adorable. Look at him. He's so cute. He's a werewolf. <laughs> he's so cute. Okay, okay. What do we name him? Gustavo Heller. His name is Gustavo Heller. <laughs> oh my gosh. I don't know why I love this as much as I do, but I do. All right, all right. Let's take a look at his, his personality. He's a diva. <laughs> he's flirty. He loves the heat and he's a slob. All right, we're going to change some of those. But oh my gosh, this is so great. Made the most of my time, Master Magician. Oh my goodness. Oh wow, that that made me laugh. That that hurt a little bit. It made me laugh so much. Gustavo. Alright, what are we making? We'll keep him. We'll keep him as a diva. But let's get rid of Slob. Um, let's get rid of Loves the Heat. Um Maybe we'll keep Daredevil. We'll keep Daredevil. We'll make we'll make him a diva. We'll make him flirty, and he's a daredevil. Now, what should we? What, what should Gustavo? <gasps> I know what Gustavo needs to be. Okay, maybe this is a bit over the top, stereotypical, but 
one of the ambitions in here is a hairdresser, but you can make them evil. So maybe he's an evil hairdresser. He's going to shave people's heads off and stuff. It's going to be good. Oh, I'm already excited. Should we make him evil? I'll put evil for now. Whoa, Gustavo. Chillax, okay? Calm down. Um, good sense of kisser. Green thumb. Hopeless romantic. <laughs> oh, my God. Irresistible. Irresistible sims are quite charming, although they often get more than they asked for. Dates will be easy to find, and others will flock to socialize with them. Mm. Gustavo, the flirty diva hairdresser. He was made for great things. <laughs> Let's take off evil for now. Let's just make him... Uh, He's a div he's a flirty diva hairdresser. He's not mean spirited. We won't make him mean spirited. I'm trying to see if there is a um oh there's something called photographer's eye, but that's just picking up photography. We don't want him to be a slob. That would be that would not make sense, probably. Vehicle enthusiast. A workaholic. <sighs> <laughs> Klepto, oh man, kleptomania see, should be pretty fun. Steal everything. Should be to rule the world with your amazing haircuts. Yes, we'll make him a ladies' man. Rule the ha the world <laughs> one haircut at a time. Hairdo overlord. Oh man, I'm down. All right, we're going to make him evil. We're going to make him evil. Where is it? Should we make, okay, wait, wait, wait. We'll make him... We'll make him evil. We need one more. We need one more. Maybe we'll make him artistic or something. There we go. We'll make him artistic. They also make pretty good writers and musicians. I feel like there's one in here that has to do with, like, art, mental, physical, social, and lifestyle. No, that's not it. Maybe it is. Kleptomaniac. We could make him a kleptomaniac. He's a diva daredevil uh, who's kleptomaniac and evil and flirty. <laughs> wow, this guy's kind of all over the place. Kleptomaniacs whoops, accidentally end up with things owned by others. They often permanently borrow items from work, school, or even their neighbor's homes. Oh my. Well, we get free stuff. <laughs> I don't think it's like that. I think klepto, uh, klepto, oh, go for perfectionist. Actually, yeah, let's do that. That makes sense. Perfectionists spend more time cooking, writing, or even painting, but what they eventually finish is noticeably better than something created by other sims. Perfectionists accept nothing shy of perfection. All right, there we go. So now, now we need to find the lifetime wish that involves, um, being a hairdresser because I have a lot of lifetime wishes in here. So if you guys see it as I've passed it, obviously you'll be 30 seconds behind where I'm actually at, but I can jump back and get it. Perfectionist. YM. Sit spelling being on the VODs. What is that? He'll borrow all the women's hearts. Oh, wow. That was amazing. Physical perfection. Perfect student. Presenting the perfect private aquarium. <laughs> that would be such a random dream. Clyde Regnick. Magic makeover. Was that it? Oh, no. Wait, wait, wait. I think magic makeover is uh, for fairies. You have to grant 12 sims inner beauty. Maybe we should make him a fairy. Oh, my God. Should we make him a fairy? Like a legitimate, like like an actual fairy with like wings and shit. I'm not, I'm not making a joke. <laughs> Seasoned traveler, street credible, super popular, swimming in cash, the perfect garden, the tinkerer. Maybe there isn't one for for this. Huh? I guess not. I totally thought there would be. I didn't check, so I was just going off of assumptions. Celebrity psychic. Gold digger, see ghost of wealthy sp Oh my gosh, wow. <laughs> oh man. Greener gardens, high tech collector, hit movie composer, illustrious author. We can make him 
Let's give him magic makeover. Okay. We're going to pop back up here and we are going to make Gustavo a beautiful fairy. Oh, wow. It picked exactly the wings I was hoping it would pick. All right. Check this out. He's got teeny tiny little butterfly. <laughs> oh, man. Look at these itty bitty little wings. They're beautiful. Oh, I love them. They're so tiny. They're so amazing. Gustavo. I think he's perfect. I think he's exactly what I was hoping he would be. All right, let's make another Sim. We're going to add another Sim to our family. We're going to make this one a girl, and we're going to hit the random Sim generator, and we'll, 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 we'll work from there. We're going to make you a girl. All right, here we go. Let's uh, randomize. Oh, she's kind of cute. She looks like, uh, she looks like Minerva McGonagall. He's like a bumblebee, a fabu a fabulous bumblebee. What's her name? Jasmine Ebert. And she's human. <gasps> she oh, wait, no, I think that was automatic. Okay. What's up with Jasmine? Let's, let's randomize it one more time. I, I'm not feeling this one. Oh, wow. She's actually kind of, look at her. She's so professional. She's got, she's got a cute hat. All right, let's randomize it again. Let's wait until, let's wait until, uh, uh, <laughs> um, oh my. <laughs> Butt of the joke character from Disney movies, like Olaf. I think that's exactly what Gustav is. Okay. Jasmine Ebert um has some serious <laughs> some serious <laughs> um she's got a uh she's got a very prominent personality going on <laughs> exact opposite oh man can we let's make her a teenager can we make a her a teenager is that okay wait 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 Oh, look at her. She's actually kind of cute. Younger Sims cannot select as many traits. The following traits have been removed. Athletic. Blue-footed babies. <laughs> oh, boy. The PG is fantastic. All right, let's, let's bring her back to an adult. That was kind of hilarious. All right, yeah, let's keep her an adult. What, what is she? Let's see. Is she something abnormal? Is she like a witch? Is she a genie, a vampire, a werewolf? A cyborg? Can I do that? I don't know if she's, uh, <laughs> I don't know if I can make her into a cyborg. Uh, I haven't got that far in the future thing. A plastic machine person? Oh my. We can make her a, a, a genie, which, they, she can make food appear. It's pretty cool. And then she can clean the house. <laughs> That's basically what she does. Make her a vampire? Oh my god. We're gonna make her... <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> oh, make her a good witch? Okay, so we have... We have a vampire. She looks a little unhealthy. Gustavo's evil fairy thing will make her a, will make her a good witch. I kind of like that. I like that idea. We'll make her a good witch. Oh my, we need to get rid of your fangs, child, before you're officially, mm. there we go. She's a good witch, so let's go ahead and jump down into her personalities. All right, let's go, she's, she's clumsy, she's, why does everybody want to love the heat? Family oriented, family oriented sims make great parents, all right. Let's get rid of some of these. I think we'll keep clumsy. I don't see the point of being a good kisser. It doesn't really get you anything. Make a weirder version of the Adams family. <laughs> oh boy, that's what this is. Alright, let's see. We'll uh we'll make them Okay, we'll make her she's gotta be good first and foremost. So, you know, Gustavo, Gustavo is evil. Jasmine is good. Mm-hmm. Jasmine is good. Uh, what is she, first of all? We have to figure out what she's going to be because, you know, 
We got we to figure this one out. All right. We have I have uh, ambitions. Let's see what jobs are in ambitions because the ambitions jobs are awesome. We could I have to look this up. Hang on. I'm going to I'm going to bring up the list and then we can we can give her the right ambition. Sims 3 ambitions. Everywhere. <laughs> that was pretty good. Um, I actually want to see what the ambitions are. We'll look at Carl's guide. She could be an architect. The architectural design profession will send your sims on jobs to redecorate other sims' homes. Oh, jeez. They may want their bathroom remodeled or a nursery for their baby. You'll be given instructions and a set budget. That's kind of cool, actually. Who isn't... Who also isn't good with directions, somehow ending up in the male pro tags. Yeah. <laughs> Is this actual... Oh, Crypt Shade. Hey, Crypt. Oh, man. I think it's been a while since you've been in here. And he trips and somehow his hands end up in... Oh, man. Yeah, that sounds like every anime ever. The doctor profession is not all that new, but an updated version of the medical career track from Vanilla Sims 3. You'll now have the option of leaving the hospital during work hours to do side jobs, such as vaccinations and clinic duty. Firefighter. Take on this career to rescue Sims to put out fires. It's suited to athletic types. Later in the profession, you can even work from home as your Sim will get a personal fire engine and fire alarm. She could be a ghost hunter. She have the weird fairy twitch baby thing. Fairy witch baby thing. Um, okay, so she could be a ghost hunter. You, of course, get a zapper gun and a ghost buster in, in ghostbuster fashion and can even collect certain types of spirits you encounter to earn extra money. Oh, poop. I don't think I did see you. Uh, let's see, what else can we make her? We can make her an inventor. We can make her a private invest. Oop, I'm getting a phone call. Hang on, guys. I gotta answer this. I'm gonna just stick it. There we go. Nothing super important. I was uh, I was worried something had happened, but no, she's just telling. My mother was telling me she's having a yard sale. <laughs> um, sculptor. Okay, so all right, let's see. We could make her if she's like super good. We could make her uh, a doc. Well, I don't really want to be a doctor. Let's make her a firefighter or. A private investigator will send your sim sleuthing for clues to solve a number of multi-step cases. The cases will be unfamiliar to world adventure players who've done a lot of adventuring. They're linear but random in who's involved. Your sim will be able to rummage through trash for clues, go on stakeouts, and even break into homes to get the information they need. We can make her a stylist and a teacher. This is the weakest addition in terms of gameplay. It's a simple old school career track. It doesn't bring a lot to the game. Huh. Well, we'll leave teacher alone then. So, now it comes down to what we're going to make her. We can make, I think it would, it would either do to make her a firefighter or she could be an architect. She could also be an inventor or a private investigator. So we have the evil fairy stylist, who is a, yeah, he's a fairy, he's an evil stylist, he wants to grant people inner beauty, which is pretty hilarious. And then we have her, we could make her a private investigator. Let's do that. Let's make her a private investigator. 
Yeah. <laughs> oh man, you guys are rolling in the comments. Whew. All right, we're going to make her we're going to make her a private investigator. So, what what do we need to be a private investigator? It's a pretty good uh Oh, she should be broody, contemplating the riddles, mystery, and meaning of life. Sometimes the weight of these incredible deep thoughts can become a distraction. Oh, boy. All right, let's not choose that. Let's choose... We don't want her to be easily impressed. She's already clumsy. Maybe we should make her disciplined. She'll be into martial arts because she's a private investigator. And what else? Irresistible, kleptomaniac. Okay, that would be pretty bad to be a private investigator and be a kleptomaniac. Um, a mooch. No, remember, she's got to be perfect. Not perfect. She's got to be the opposite of Gustavo. A night owl. Uh, well, night owls might come alive at night. Don't even bother getting them out of bed before 10 a.m. <laughs> Okay, perfectionist, proper, no, social butterfly, technophobe, unstable, oh my, their traits are in a constant unpredictable flux and delusional episodes are just around the corner, oh boy, wow, <clears throat> make her a computer nerd, oh, that would be kind of good, alright, let's try that one. We'll make her good at computers. A computer whiz. And what else we need? We need one last trait. Oh man, maybe we'll make her friendly or something. Well, she's already good. He's all like flirty and stuff. Maybe she doesn't. Maybe she doesn't like romance. She's like, no, get away from me. She's irresistible. <laughs> make her vegan. Oh, we can do. Can we do that? Is that something in here? Loves the outdoors. Natural cook. Is that something we can do? Unlucky vegetarian. Oh, she's a vegetarian. Oh man, her her face screams vegan. Well, yep, yeah, that'll do it. All right, I think we got it. She's disciplined. She's good. She's clumsy. That's awkward. That's an awkward combination. All right, zombie master and mystic healer. Okay, so we got two witch options here right off the bat. We have mystic healer, cure 12 different transformed sims using sunlight charm or potent cure elixir, or turn 10 different sims into zombies using the reanimation ritual or potent zombification elixir. So many games, nothing to play. She's everything you want in a good witch. Yep, she's she's a, a lovely witch. We should probably make her a mystic healer. Her <laughs> poops scream plastic. <laughs> oh my gosh. Maybe she was born with it. Maybe it's Maybelline. Um Okay, we should uh we should probably go with Mystic Healer just to just to stay in line. She's storing her holy magic in there. Oh oh wow. This is getting her favorite food is French toast. Her favorite music is dark wave. Her favorite color is pink. What is Gustavo's favorite? Yipso. His favorite food is spaghetti. He also likes dark wave. We need to give him something like... His favorite music is pop. His favorite color is white. It's definitely Maybelline. <laughs> All right, so we have our two characters. Erkney Burr. Erkney Burr. Mardunsa. Uh, oh, we did. He didn't get his wish. Magic makeover. Twelve different Sims. Inner beauty. Greener gardens and heartbreaker. Be the boyfriend of ten different Sims. Whoa! At once. Hopefully not. That would be really hard to keep going. All right, we'll make him a. We'll make his wish be magic makeover. <laughs> Change the pitch of her voice to make them sound really different. Okay, okay, we'll 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 pop in and we'll. Let's see, is it here? Yeah. Lipsy, Monica too. Sashko. His is really high pitched. Hang on, we gotta fix that. 
Donald Matzo, Tor. <laughs> Whoa! Oh, man. All right, Gustavo. That's Gustavo's voice. Oh, boy. We let go. <laughs> the Heller family. Okay, so for now, they're just roommates. Goodbye, Kane. It was good to see you. All right, let's accept it, and we'll continue. We'll, we'll keep them... We'll keep them unconnected for now. Now, where should they live? Kind of want them to live close to town, but those houses are really expensive. Ooh, they should live close to the graveyard. I'm pretty sure that's what that is. <laughs> we'll have them live near a graveyard. Uh, oh, here's, let's see, let's take a look at this one. This was two bedroom and one bathroom. This is two bedroom, one bathroom. I mean, we could build a house for them. Potato hugs, I love it. This is two bedroom, one bathroom. Uh, we can't afford furnished. Whoa. It's an expensively furnished house. This is one bedroom, one bathroom. One bedroom, one bathroom. Well, that's just not gonna work. So, we need at least two bedrooms. Yep. I think we'll go with this. Maybe we'll furnish it ourselves. Let's do that. Maybe either save some money or spend even more money than we intended to. It's gonna be good. Potato hugs. Whoa. Lightning and thunder. A supernatural wind blows through moonlight falls, creating a mystical weather stone. Whew, that music. All right, he wants to join the science career. First off, she wants to join a political career. <laughs> They're doing so well. Her favorite color is pink. He's thinking about her. He's very attracted. Wow, this voice. Oh, man. It'd be cool if you could do like a garage hairstylist thing. I'm not actually sure how it works. Let's find out. If, oh, we gotta, we gotta, we gotta populate our house first. I was like, where is everything? Oh wait. All right, let's uh, let's pop some uh, some things in, like beds and stuff. That's kind of important. What's the uh, the energy on this? Is uh, we'll make it red. Um, I'm really bad at decorating in this game. They get along their total <laughs> opposites. Hey, sometimes opposites attract. Your comprehensive knowledge has given them some some good some good stuffs. All right, let's get him a dresser. We'll get him we'll get him a nice a children's dress. Oh, maybe not that. We'll get him this then. There we go. Beautiful. I forgot to put her bed in. Well, it's pink. Let's randomize this bed. Oh, wow, it's purple. Yeah, she gets the slightly smaller room. I don't know why. I'm just assuming that this is her room. I've already made the decision. Basic chemistry of love. He's evil and she's good. Hey, sometimes whatever works, man. There we go. All right, we'll put that there. I think we need slightly darker wood or something. Yep. I'm sure that's exactly what we needed. Um, this looks awful. <laughs> oh boy. It looks dreadful. Oh, that's what that is. There's a leaf poking in it. I was like, why is the shower green? The birds and the bumblebees. Oh man, the witches and the bees. We need a TV in the living room. Can't have a functioning house and not have a TV. We'll put that there. We'll, we'll, we'll get them a nice game system and pop it behind it. We gotta get them a sofa. Truth Odor Dare. It's amazing how many mattresses. Oh wow! It is literally just a mattress on cinder blocks with a, with a plank of wood. All right, let's maybe get them something a little nicer. Just a little nice. Is that a one seater? 
All right, here we go. We'll get we'll get them. No, that doesn't look nice. Let's take a look at this prim and proper sofa. Whoa. All right, it's ostentatious, but it's it's awesome. Even blue. <laughs> <laughs> the bluest of birds. Oh boy. Blue footed boobies. Chocobos. Those are the birds. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Perfect. Alright, let's uh oh, we need a we need a dining room. This house is awful. I should not have decided to do this. This is a mistake. Oh. Alright, let's let's pop down a table for them to eat at. It's very small and very sad. <laughs> Is there a white chair in this list? Oh well. Okay, maybe not. Let's get them let's get them some dining room looking chairs. There we go. Now they need Oh my god, I'm broke! Okay, hang on. We need to get them a computer. At least one computer. It'll be in his room, I guess. Yeah, wow. Oh my god, we could afford one more computer, but Making an affordable house, yeah, seriously. All right, well, I think we, uh, as a witch, your sim can cast powerful spells to become the most feared sim ever or help others out through spreading good about the world. The choice is yours. Cool. Well, there is one thing we should maybe look into getting for her, and that's an alchemy station, because then she can make potions and shit. But that's 850 simoleons, and we're not gonna have any money for food, so... Maybe next time. I did not buy them a chair for that computer. <laughs> Hang on. Hang on! We gotta go back in. We gotta get them a, a, a chair for their computer. There we go! Alright. Alright. I just bought a chair! Is that seriously with- Oh, okay. Buy something worth at least 500 civilians. Well! Yeah. Alright, let's, uh, let's get him his profession. She's so cute. They always dive stupid. Dumb ways to die. So many dumb ways to die. She wants to be handy. Alright, we have magician, singer, acrobat. Oh, what? That's it. Oh, it's not available. Oh, I know why. Okay, hang on. We gotta go into... um. We have to go into the town. We have to edit the town. Um, yes, save. Gustavo and... What was her name? Jasmine. <laughs> there we go. Beautiful. Internet troll. Evil in its truest form. I had a serious case of the stupids. Make him troll the form because he's evil. What is the way that I can be evil today? I will troll the forms! <laughs> I am so evil. Oh, man. All right, let's go ahead. We're gonna we're gonna make some community lots. Whoa, those are the future ones. We don't want to make those. Festival grounds. Hang on, I gotta find the ambitions. The ambitions ones. Is that these ones? No, this is a big show venue. Oh no, wait. These are just spooky. Red velvet vampire lounge. Whoa, I didn't know that was a vampire lounge. Am I going crazy? It's not in the list. Okay. Community lots. It asked me uh, last time when I had a game and it was like... It might not be installed. <laughs> it's possible that Ambitions is not actually installed on this computer. No, it is. I'm pretty sure. How do I check? That's very confusing. I have no idea. How do we check? Okay, I have an idea. I know how we can check. World editor? Whoa. Build or buy? Whoa. Bulldozer? That's very confusing. I have no idea. I mean, I thought I- Oop. I got kicked out of the game. It's like Yen and Yang all in one house. And she can do internet white knighting. <laughs> Yeah, that's that's exactly what she is. She's an internet white knight. He's an internet troll. Create sims. We don't want households. We just I just want to pop down the 
who's here? Oh, hi, Orlando. Um, let's see. World editor. Alright, alright, alright. We're gonna have to pop back in. We're gonna have to see if this is fully installed, because Ambitions apparently is not installed. Uh, where are they? They're by the graveyard. Oh, that's a little turnaround. They're over there. Alright, let's go back in. Return to game. Just continue. I didn't change anything. Alright, we're gonna pause this real fast. We're gonna, uh, go in here. Uh, well, this this is the surest way to figure out if Ambitions is installed, because there should be Ambitions stuff in here. There is not! It looks like Ambitions is not installed, so I'm gonna have to close this and we're gonna have to try and in install it. How did that happen? I am so positive that I installed it. Is there any way? Huh! I, like, watched it install. Maybe I, maybe I turned it off before I was able to. Alright, we're gonna quit. We need ambitions in order to make our characters work. Yeah, I didn't, I didn't do anything extra. We can't have exactly. We can't have Gustavo not be a hairdresser. It would be. It would crush the game. The game universe. All right. It says it's in, but we're gonna reapply it <laughs> or something. I don't know. It says it's in. That's very odd. Maybe I'm just maybe I'm just derping stunning my way off. No, it's definitely on. It's not that it's off. Maybe I have to uninstall it and then reinstall it. That's gonna take ages. That would be sucky. Alright, we'll try it one more time. We're gonna pop into The Sims 3. We have to watch the intro all over again. I do not have the pet one. I, I wanna get generations and then I wanna get um what is the one that looks like... What's the Ambitions one? Is it this one? No, that's World Adventures. Is it this one? No, that's University Life. It's this one. This is, No, that's Vanilla. Pfft. It's it. No, that's Showtime. What the... F where is the Ambitions little... Generations. Outdoor living stuff. High-end lot stuff. Oh, here we go. Okay, here's what it is. Oh, you guys can't see this. Pfft. All right. I'm going to turn on my monitor real fast so you guys can... That's not monitor. That's monitor. All right. This little guy right here... Um, how, how, do, how do you do that whole... What was it? Was it when, no. No. That was not the right button. Uploads? Oh. Installed content. Oh, I haven't, I haven't like, downloaded anything from the, from the internet. Well, anyways, it's this tiny little blue one that has apply twice. Label clearly said apply twice. Has the little star, or not the star, the plum bob, and it's light blue. It's like light blue in the background. Yep. Oh, it's okay. There's nothing to not see on my monitor. All right, well, let's pop in and, and see what happens, and we'll try and find the little light blue. Hypest gameplay on Twitch. Absolutely. I am the best Sims 3 player. Gustavo is like, love me! Right after he shakes the lady's head. Oh, that is exactly what Gustavo's like. Alright, let's, uh... The Sims 3. Dude, I remember. I vaguely remember when this first came out and I was so excited about it. Oh, loading. And then, like, Sims 3 popped up, and I was like, oh, it's amazing. He, like, shaves a lady's hair off, and is just like, don't you love it so much you want to love me? No one can hate him, because he's... I mean, we didn't make him irresistible. We should have made him irresistible. Of cute scene. <laughs> This is all like into the future stuff. All right, let's let's hop in. Maybe it'll ask me this time. Find the dreadlocks. Are these dreadlocks? Yes. Find the microphone. Found it. The speaker's podium. The evergreen. Is that this? Oh, it's. Is that that? How about that? Is this one? Is that an evergreen? Oh, bush blossom tree. I don't know. It's loading. I just clicked all the trees. So when it finishes loading. It'll tell- oh, I got it. Protest sign! Found it. Oh, yay! There- 
it goes. There it goes. All I had to do was open and close it. Or close and open it. Yes, let's place the lots. Uh, just continue. We didn't do anything. We don't need to go through the 20 hours of saving. Yes. Woo! Here we go! The ambitions lots are being placed. Finally! You placed a consignment store. This location is perfect for putting your Sims handcrafted goods up for sale. A salon! There we go. Hoo 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 hoo. You placed a salon. This place is perfect for getting your Sims all dressed up for a night on the town. A fire station right across from the salon. You ended up at a- what happened in Discord? How did- you ended up at a different channel? You placed a fire station. There's a new junkyard lot. Yes. Pop it in! Do you wish to save your time before continuing? Yep. Halia's magic. Is Halia a good witch? Or a bad witch, though? That's what we really need to find out. Is if she's good or bad. Or if she's an evil bumblebee fairy. <laughs> yeah, we did it! Woo! Oh, I'm gonna screw my cat back on. Pause this so I can take a look through there. She wants to learn the science skill. And, oh, play with magic. We can do that. Buy an alchemy station. Hey, we're working on it, okay? Don't, you know, don't. Uh, join architectural design career. Look, I'm sorry, buddy, but you really gotta be... You really gotta be a, a salonist. A salonist. You're gonna work at a salon. <laughs> it wasn't working out while I was trying to say it. Where did it go? Am I just gonna have to... Oh, here it is. You are going to join the stylist profession. And did we get the... Uh... Oh, wait. We want to go to the police station. Police station. We're gonna join investigator. Yeah! Here we go. Let's follow Gustavo. Your friendly Sims University mascot is here. Oh, whoa! <laughs> Gustavo he wants to hit it up with the mascot. <laughs> or no, the mascot wants to hit it up with, uh... Where's Gustavo going? Where are you going?! <laughs> we need to- we need to get you your lifelong dream of becoming a salonist. He also wants to cook, apparently. Join, take a class in a cooking skill. Hey, classes are expensive, mister. She wants to join the education career. She wants to be a teacher. Game night voice room. Riding a broom is the only way to travel. They pollute less, turn some heads, and best of all, they fly. And Gustavo is riding in a Oh my god! We hit a guy. There was a dude in front of us on a bicycle. Gustav dreams of cheese. Yep. In a world where danger lies around every corner, an investigator sets their own rules. If your sim is up for the challenge, a life of intrigue awakes, awaits. To find work, scan a computer to search for cases online, or wait for a local to call your sim with a case. In your downtime, the police department can always use an extra hair, pair of helping hands. Except crew. Neat. Oh, whoa, what just happened? Oh, this is a time portal. Yep. <laughs> Alright, where is Gustavo? Gustavo, my man, you must be a hairdresser. Amazing derp! Hi, amazing derp! All I've ever wanted was to be a hairdresser. An evil hairdresser! What was that? Nothing? I just want to be a hairdresser. <laughs> Sims are looking for you to dress them fashionably or in contemporary styles. Or if you yearn to manipulate mangy mullets into something more hip, the stylist profession may be perfect for your artistic finesse. Except career. Uh, we're not gonna buy something worth 500. As long as they own a styling station, stylists also work from home by inviting clients over. Otherwise, stylists can work from the salon in town. Neat! Okay, well, he just. Oh my. Hang on. The Stylish Sim Society has given Gustavo Heller a design portfolio. I just realized Hell is in his last name. It's 
perfect. Um, it has been placed in his inventory. Welcome to the world of high style. Be punctual and diligent and you'll be cutting hair and picking fabric swatches for headbands soon enough. When no one is looking, you may be able to get away with giving a fashionable makeover or two. As a fashion fledgling, you have a lot to learn before. Sims really trust your fashion sense. Okay, so here's what we're going to do. He's going to, like, low-key be a really good fashion, like, he's a hairdresser. And then when he's at the very top, he's going to start shaving Sims' hair off. That's what it is. Why not discuss fashion with different folks to learn what they think of the hottest styles? Cool. Self-motivation is second only to self-preservation in the solitary career of an investigator. Track down criminals, solve mysteries, and keep the peace. Where, when Sims are down on their luck and have nothing left to turn to, and have nowhere left to turn, they'll turn to you. If you're up for the challenge and can manage the stress, a life of intrigue awaits. Jasmine now owns a respectable coat befitting a private investigator. Beautiful. Oh, well. Dante is screaming at another stylist. Dante, stop being... Uh, Dante. Gustavo. Offer makeover to Jack Skipper. Jack... Jack... Jack the Ripper? Lewd bot or riot? Because <laughs> other folks are not evil. What is lewd bot? I moved... I don't hear anything in the, in the, um, the, 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 oh my god, I'm, I'm blanking on D, 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 get Discord, oh my god, <laughs> like I said, I'm having some language issues today, whoa, this guy, this guy. <laughs> Make Dante into Devil May Cry Dante. Mmm. Lootbot is a mod in Discord. Oh, God. Let's give him... Let's give him some... Oh, man. He looks... He looks loads better already. Look at this guy. Mmm. All right. We need, to, we need to get rid of that weird pedo stash he's got going on. Let's give him... Oh, wow. Look at him. I think, oh, well, not that one. I think this one. I think it does it. I think we did it. She's blanking. <laughs> Shush. <laughs> All right. I think we got it. I think we got it. We've made him into the perfect. Wait, let's see what he looks like with this one. Oh, he looks, he looks too, he looks like a little baby. He looks like someone. <laughs> oh my God, he kind of does. I didn't even see it. Let's give him some, some fabulous makeup. Whoa, I can't see it off of his glasses. We can give him a clothing makeover. <gasps> Whoa. All right, let's get rid of these stupid glasses. Sir, your, your stupid glasses are in the way. I need to be able to see your face as I work on it. <laughs> oh my god, this is amazing. A lot of physics-defying boobs. Oh my. Of course. All right, how about this one? Wow. We have got, he has got the makeup going on. It's like Stacy's mom has got it going on. This guy's got the makeup going on. Costume makeup? We can give him costume makeup. Oh my. All right, let's get him some glasses again. Man needs, man needs his glasses. All right, yeah, yeah, yeah. I think, I think we've really accomplished some amazing things today with this man. He came in looking like a, like a fashion disaster and he's leaving looking like amazing. Ooh. Hello, uh, I'm gonna assume it's either Micah or Mika. Well, I, I don't think there's any other thing it could be. Wind! Yay! Okay, cool. So I think, I think we have great, why'd you go to that hand? It was on this one. Right, I think we have succeeded with this man. He's he's pretty fabulous. I think he looks amazing. Let's find out. Let's let's see what he thinks of his new hairstyle and makeup. <laughs> From her swag, he would need a Hawaii shirt and shorts. I think you're right. Oh, he likes it. Yeah, Gustavo Heller just styled Jack Skipper. Every makeover is memorable in its own way. All right, well, let's, uh, maybe we can talk to her about, you know, fairy, playful pester. 
<laughs> oh, that's what we should do. We should have him turn on. He needs to level up his fairy skills. <laughs> He's uh, there we go. Now, <laughs> that looked a little epic. A little more epic than I think it was supposed to. There we go. All right, we need to we need to talk to this woman. Play a fairy trick. Oh my. Daring. <laughs> That's that's daredevil apparently. Compliment fashion sense. Discuss fashion. I almost said disgust fashion. Let's uh let's get rid of these so that I can see when they have new new um new things to do. Build portfolio. Research style out on the drafting table and build your portfolio by photographing clients after styling them. Oh, we didn't photograph him. Okay, hang on, hang on, hang on. Friendly introduction. Oh, wow, we didn't even we didn't even introduce ourselves to this guy. Donate money to undermine charity. Whoa, he wants to uh, donate money to undermine charity. It's been a bit draft without your... <laughs> <laughs> All right, we need to. We need to take a picture of the man. Ask to pose. There we go. All right, all right, all right, all right. Thank you, thank you. Oh, I think we need to take a picture of him. We not take a picture of him. Hang on. We need. We need. We need camera. We need to take a photo. Oh, I think he was going to take a photo. Imply mother was a chupacabra. Where is... Oh, here he is. Yeah! <laughs> that was kind of frightening. Tools of the trade. All right! I think we did it. Play a trick on Jack Skipper. Play fairy trick. Chattering teeth! Yeah! Oh my, he's got to get real friendly with a lady, move in, steal everything, and move out. He would. Oh, we're we're not doing too good on the friends front. Gustavo Heller got the last laugh thanks to a fairy trick. He wants to see a ghost. Well, you know what, Gustavo, we can't, we can't all, we can't all get what we want in life. Is there not a, a, a styling? Aw, oh, man. He wants to style five sims. Offer makeover to Dante. Oh, we have to give a makeover to Dante. Obviously. We can't take a cooking class. Way too expensive. All right, here we go. A real gentleman. Truly. <laughs> oh. Uh, something's going on with this guy. He is slightly frightening. What's up with the showy veins? He's got veins showing. I don't know if you guys can see this. It's, it's pretty amazing and frightening. He's got some serious makeup. We need to give him some real Dante hair. Oh. Handled. Oh my god. <laughs> He's a man. <laughs> Rot roll. Oh my god. Okay, wait. Is this the perfect Dante hair, though? I don't know if you guys can see this because my face is slightly in the way, but. What is this? Oh my god. Leaf hair. I think this is the hair. He looks like he has makeup, but his veins are still showing. Yeah. He put makeup on to try and hide the veins, and the veins were like, nah, bruh, you can't, you can't hide. We call the Winchesters. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, my. What is up with his weird hair, back hair flip? That is very strange. I think we're going to have to go with this one. I'm working magic through Gustavo. Absolutely. All right, sir. Your your formal attire. What is your formal attire? It needs to be the best attire. His formal attire involves having his face painted like a pirate. All right, we need to fix this. Clearly. This, sir. This needs to 
not happen. He has makeup underneath the face paint. This man is pretty fabulous. <laughs> Dante is shoulder length hair. Does he? Let's find out. All right. Let's give him this. Well, now he just looks, I don't know. He needs a hat. <laughs> oh, wait, 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 wait. Uh, huh. Yeah, he is definitely something. Oh my, I think this is it. I think, I think this is it. This is the hair that this man needs. This is the hair this man has always needed. Yep, done. Perfecto. We're accepting it. Yep, your hair is beautiful. Kind of depends on the Dante. Yeah, Gustavo Heller just styled Dante Morganth. Uh, every mem- uh, Every- Oh, okay. Alright! Good stuff. Complain about something trivial. Alright, what is this? Fashion design portfolio. Oh. Well, move all- Oh, oh, wait, wait, wait. We need to go take a picture of the dude that we just- <gasps> Gustavo feels the power of the Fae grow stronger within. If Gustavo wishes to inspire, he need only harness the power of aura of creativity. We'll get rid of your cooking thing and do that in a minute. Take a, take a picture of his beautiful face. Alright, I need you to ask this man to pose. Gustavo! Ask this man. There we go. And then we need, we need, we need to take a photo. Hey, yo! Oh, come back up! Uh, I cannot move. I got him. I captured a vampire. We tried food truck. View photos. I have so taken photos. Oh, I took the photos on here. Okay, wait, 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 wait. I know why this hasn't been working. Alright, alright, alright. Here we go. Here we go. Now we're doing it. <laughs> I got the perfect photo of him. No, I needed a photo of it. Oh, wow. Well, you know. You know what they say. <laughs> we're just gonna pop that in there. Yep, yep. I take fantastic photo. Um, oh, I thought he got super thin all of a sudden. It does happen. Path to magical power is bumpy and sometimes dangerous. All right, we're going to turn off our aura. Stop, because otherwise he's going to get drained of magic. Oof, bless you. Let, let me take a picture of you to fix that. Path to magical power. Why don't you try capturing something different? No! I needed it. View images. Yep, we'll just pop that in there. <laughs> oh boy, we are we are awful at this. All right, get stylist offer makeover to Dwayne Wolf. <laughs> you got a photo of a vamp immersion loss. <laughs> You could take pictures of them. Also, next person needs a next level animu makeover. All right, let's do it. It's this guy. He's got a balding head. We're going to turn him fabulous, though. We're going to make him amazing. Kind of depends on the Dante. Oh, boy. This is this is going pretty good. Wow. And this guy's also a vampire. Oh, no, 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 no. He's a werewolf. He's a balding werewolf. Good job, dude. Very proud of you. You're doing fantastic. All right, let's see. We gotta give him. We gotta give him anime level hair. Let's see. Is it this one? This is this is Justin Bieber hair. Hang on. We got this. We can do this. No, that pompadour was pretty anime. Let's 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 go with the pompadour. Where was it? I need that back. I need that back in my life. Whatever this is. Full on anime. Blue is okay too. All right, let's do it. Let's do it. Let's give him. Let's give him some blue, gorgeous blue hair. Yeah, there we go. Oh man, look at this. I. Oh wow, look at this hair. This is actually kind of cool. <laughs> this hair is awesome. 
I am the stylist. Mm. We're gonna make his beard match his hair roots. Oh, wow. Your eyebrows, man. They need to match your roots. Oh my gosh, this is cool. Okay, okay. This guy's legit. This guy's this guy is pretty legit. We're gonna make your body hair match your root color you. too. Done! He's got blue chest hair and leg hair. <laughs> oh my god! Something out of JoJo, I can dig it. Yep. I don't know where the pompadour went though. I think I lost it. Because it wasn't this. What is this hair? <laughs> oh my god, what is this? Oh man, should we give him this? Well, the colors match the hair. Are you gonna make him into a Super Saiyan God, Super Saiyan? Can we do that? Can we do it? Can we turn him into Super Saiyan? Super Saiyan God, Super Saiyan? What is this hair? Oh wow, this is this is some fabulous hair right here. Goatee! Oh he does! He does need a goatee. He needs it. <laughs> oh wow, that is no, we have to have the other one. It's this one. It's definitely that's the one. That's the one. All right, I think we're gonna go back to this hairstyle. Yes, I'm done. This is, yep. His eyes are actually f pretty beautiful. Yep, I think we're good. I, I think this is the man he has always wanted to be. Let's see if he likes it. So, I, oh, there we go. <laughs> it wasn't accepting, it was like, um. Whoop. Oh no, he didn't like it. Oh, Gustavo needs to keep styling and gaining job experience to increase his chances of a successful makeover. That was my best one yet. Oh, what? What are you talking about? Oh, you look fabulous. There we go. Got him. View photos. Oh, wow. That one was actually pretty good. Oops. Oh, no, 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 no. Get out of that. View photos, view images, and we're gonna pop that in there. Yeah, look at that. Mmm, beautiful. When are my work hours? Oh, I'm not even on the job right now. <laughs> Earn money by professionally styling other Sims. Take on styling jobs. Research style. All right, let's go home. Let's let's go home, Gustavo. Super Saiyan God, Super Saiyan. Seriously. No sense of style. Absolutely none. Man doesn't understand that I've given him a gift. The gift of blue hair. Oh, well, there were two cars on top of each other there. Alright, what are your needs right now, sir? Because I'm sure you're actually quite... Both of you are. What are you doing becoming a nerd? Okay, good, yes. Learn gardening skill. Possibly. Oh, I thought a fire started. I was like, <gasps> all right, let's uh, let's have you use the bathroom. We need to uh, we need to get started on oh open work hours. <gasps> oh, we need to go be a um an investigator. Solve a case. Our our good our good witch needs to be a good witch now. Oh boy. All right, uh, take a shower while Gustavo is still cooking. Gustavo looks like mega thin from, look at that. Look, 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 look. Okay, from far away, he's mega thin. When I scroll in, he goes back to being Gustavo. To get good noobs everywhere. Yep, they need to get good. Um, don't play computer games. Come sit over here, child, and wait for Gustavo to finish cooking. Yeah! Gustavo! Hang on. And we're gonna call households to meal. <laughs> there we go. 
beautiful. It's great. We don't have vampires, so they can actually eat food. Wow. She is almost too, uh, too wide. I'm oh, my God. <laughs> oh, my God. This is great. Oh, boy. I don't want to be as a dad who gets to see a Super Saiyan. Yes. Oh, man. You two are... are Play a trick on Jasmine Ebert. He wants to play a trick on Jasmine. Wow, he ate fast. All right, let's see. We're going to play a fairy trick. We're going to do hothead. He's starving for moonlight. Oh, he got her. Oh, he did it on himself. Oh, loser. Stoop. Stoop. Whoa, I'm pretty sure he just set her on fire. All right, let's try it again. Oh, there he goes. He got her. <laughs> All right. Let's, uh... Nah, we'll just leave it like that. Bestow flight of felicity. Those tricky fairies. They sure pulled a fast one on Jasmine Ebert. She'll always remember the time the fairy got the upper hand. All right. Good stuff. Now, uh, he really needs to use the bathroom. <laughs> Take evil shower. That was an option that I just had. Uh, cast a conversion spell on a planting ingredient. Cast a conversion ritual. Stand up, you silly goose. Let's see what she turns it into. <laughs> Dear, don't dip your boobies in the soup. That will make the plastic melt. <laughs> oh, that was good. That made me laugh. All right, play with some magic, child. Cast a good luck charm on Gustavo. All right, let's stop doing that, and let's try and find, let's, oh, here we go. Search for an investigator case. We want her to solve a case, and since we're live streaming, I think I'm just going to, like, cheat a little bit and make them not sleep, because no one wants to watch a live stream where people are sleeping. So let's just do testing cheats enabled... You guys can't see this because my overlay is on top of it. That's okay. Ah, saying bad non-PG words. <laughs> Oop, hang on. We're gonna pop him awake. The case of the missing mouthwash. Seriously? Families can be so ridiculous at times. I'm not sure why I've been called in to find some missing mouthwash. It seems to me a therapist should have been called instead. I should speak to Mara Nix to get to the bottom of this. All right, child, let's let's go ahead. Uh, seriously, I think our client is a little girl. Yep. Our client is, in fact, uh, a small child. <laughs> Perfect. Beautiful. Yep, it is, in fact, a small child. Let's go ahead and interview young Mara. Obama too. Hi, Mara. Don't be frightened by my rather voluptuous chest. Mara Nix firmly believes a fellow member took the mouthwash to get even for when Mara Nix stole a ham sandwich. If you ask me, vengeance for a stolen sandwich would be more severe. I should ask Mike Nix about the mouthwash or bribe them if it comes down to it. Well, that's a thing. All right, let's, uh, let's go ask about the mouthwash and let's follow her. Don't be too excited. Are you going to move? We don't have all day. Um, Jasmine. She, she's, uh, she's, she's, she's chill. This is how she works. Oh, he's coming to me. Okay, there we go. <laughs> stool. stool. He just laughed at the word stool. Sir. My eye, my eyes are up here. <laughs> Maybe I should get friendlier with Mike Nix before asking him. 
Let's cast a good luck charm, and then we'll do a friendly introduction. And then I guess we'll ask to go inside afterwards. Okay, wait, 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 wait. Maybe we can get him to... Okay, visit the next household. <laughs> Donate to Plant a Money Tree Foundation. Whoa. Can I, uh, thank you. Uh, excuse me, you might want to put some pants on. You have guests over, okay? Mike, wake up! <laughs> Maybe we can, uh... We can, we can, we can... Oh, God! I accidentally jumped. Okay, don't talk to the child, okay? I want to wake up Mike Niggs. There's missing mouthwash to be found, okay? Alright, go talk to Mike Nix before he goes back to sleep. We're gonna cast a good luck charm on the man. We're gonna brighten his day. We're gonna we're gonna get real we're gonna real friendly. Nothing weird about interviewing. <laughs> Trigger age transition. Oh, that means to send to make him into the next age area. Spell casting. Enthuse about magic. We'll cast another good luck charm because I think I failed the first time. Yeah, it just means make him grow up. So if I trigger the age transition, he'll turn into uh, probably an old man. High five. Friendly. Get to know. Friendly. Enthuse about new house. Compliment home. Um, Brighton day. Ask about career. All right, we'll speed this up ever so slightly. Oh, the high five made us not friends. Wow, this is not working out. This guy is hard to to get along with. I want to like. What the hell? We are just failing hardcore. Tell a funny story. Show internet cats video. Show funny video. Maybe this guy is an internet guy. The only way we can get along is if I'm like using the internet. Make him an old man, then wait till he dies of age. If his corpse has the mouthwash, he's guilty. Oh my. This guy is hard to get along with, all right? Jasmine learned that Mike has a career in medicine. Maybe I should try to get along better with the person before attempting this again. It's getting pretty late. Perhaps it's time to leave. Oh, I got kicked out. We'll have to come back later. Just because I make my- wait, 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 wait. Let's rummage through his trash. Don't go home. Come back. I'm gonna rummage through his trash and find the mouthwash. Ah. <laughs> uh... I can fly! We'll fly around after she sifts through their trash to find answers. I got kicked out of their house at 4 o'clock in the morning. I just discovered some discarded scrap. <laughs> oh my gosh, this is going swimmingly. Are you finding anything? Alright, well, she found some stuff. It's pretty good. She can fly, she can fly, she can fly, she can fly. Alright, let's uh, play with magic, and then we'll go home. We'll speed it up slightly. You- I made you perfectly rested, you dip. Buy a fairy house. Oh, I forgot! Derp. He's a fairy. He doesn't sleep in a bed. What's wrong with me? You don't need to make that, don't worry. We need to get this man a fairy house. Hmm, we should probably put it outside because, you know, he is a fairy. Fairies like being outside and... What you doing there, Gustavo? Making a bed that doesn't exist? Let's drink some pollen punch. He wants to project an aura of creativity and an aura of body and mind. Alright, well, let's do an aura of creativity. It's gonna have some, some, some pollen punch first. 
we'll, we'll have him have some more pollen punch. Set fairy trap on an object. Gustavo is fed up with cold showers and disappearing conditioner. All right, let's uh, let's set a fairy trap. You. Oh, did we not put away the food? Eat leftovers, mac and cheese. Someone put away the food. Wow. Good on them. He's like, don't mind me, I'm not here. <laughs> oh boy, case of the mystery mouthwash is going to have to wait. Yep. We're going to have to find our mystery, mysteriously missing mouthwash later. Oh, did he, uh, I think he flubbed it. Yeah, he flubbed it. No, oh, he flubbed it again. You're not very good at this whole, uh, fairy trap thing, Gustavo. He sucks as a fairy. Oh, there we go. Alright, go take a shower. <laughs> this ought to be good. Now all that's needed is an unsuspecting sim. I'm suspect. <laughs> what if Gustavo stole the mouthwash because they didn't have money to get any? <laughs> oh! Gustavo dyed her hair blue. She really needed a shower, though, so she'll be upset about her blue hair in a minute. Gustavo has to utilize his fairy form to get those hard-to-reach places and perform a fairy repair on broken objects. Alright, well. He's listening to pop music because he, he really likes pop music. Also, she is- oh, she took it off. Oh, look at that! She's in her, her investigative uniform. Buy a new magic wand. Am I going to get copyright strike or get a copyright strike for that? All right, come on, child. Let's go back and, and try and get this to... Oh, his work starts in one day. Crime never sleeps. Just pop that back up. <laughs> She's looking the part now. <laughs> oh my gosh. That looks great. Look at her, look at her, look at her. Oh my god. She's an investigator on a broomstick. Don't mind me. Do low-level police work. Oh gosh. I don't know what's... Okay. Oh, we're gonna go to this guy at work. Oh, here I am. I know you're working, but I really need to figure out where that went. That, that mouthwash went. You're not allowed to work right now. I could bribe him. I don't want to give him money over mouthwash. <laughs> All right, let's uh, let's be tell it. No. Okay, hang on. Let's uh, let's talk about the heat, and then we'll show him a funny video, and we'll show him an internet cats video and a gross video, because apparently these worked out great. Wow, that coat just makes them kind of pop out a little bit more when it's Marvel picking this one up. She's private investigator witch. <laughs> Look at this cool video. Yeah. Woo. We're, we're becoming friends. Yeah. <laughs> Rock, paper, scissors. Yeah. Ooh. -hoo. Yeah. It's a gross video. Mm hmm. All right. Now you'll tell me about the mouthwash. I <laughs> greeted him after all of that. Now we're playing rock, paper, scissors. Really important, you know, parts of being an investigator. Rock, paper, scissors. You just can't... You just can't get rid of stuff like that. And then we'll cast a good luck charm. For good luck. Her phone is ringing. We'll answer the phone afterwards. Oh god, don't answer the phone. We need to ask him about the mouthwash. Yeah, I'm so glad I've been brought in to solve petty household rivalries. It appears as expected, my Nix stole the mouthwash. Luckily, I can return it to Mara Nix for my hopeful reward of like 10 simoleons. Alright, answer your phone. We got some job experience. Oh, must have been the wrong number. 
I'm an eavesdropper. That's my that's my career right now. Gustavo has unlocked some gags that will make Sims gag. He can now fairy trap a trash can and perform tummy twister on unsuspecting Sims. He is the perfect evil guy. Oh, we have to go to this school in order to get our reward from her. Report findings. She's in school. I'm going to pull her out of school to report the findings of the, the missing mouthwash. She doesn't get out of school until like 3, though. So we're just going to have to wait a little bit. <laughs> oh. Isn't there a good reason you distance yourself from the people you're investigating? This, Yeah, this is weird backwards investigative, investigative tactics. We can't really afford a new wand. What? We're poorer than we started. Oh my gosh. How am I poorer than I was before? Visit a graveyard during a full moon. Earn 500 simoleons and style 5 sims. I don't even know, man. I don't I don't know. I don't know what to uh Oh, I got to go uh I got to go tell Gustavo to turn off the the fairy the fairy juice. And then go have some pollen punch. Yep. Report your findings. Maybe she gets out of school at five. Report your findings! She's fleeing! Catch up with her! There we go. <laughs> they get out of school at four in this game. We need some Gustavo up in here. We did it! We solved the case. I got 500 simoleons? What the hell? This kid gave me 500 simoleons to find her freaking mouthwash. She made a poisonous apple. Jesus Christ. Alright, well. That worked out pretty well. Let's go ahead and send her to, like, a real job or something. Do low-level police work. Alright, let's, uh, let's crank out some paperwork, perform feats of logic. Where's the glory of being a desk jockey? There's no time to gripe. That pile in your inbox is only growing larger. Delight and dazzle local law enforcement with a series of tricks. Well, that'll do it. Alright, Gustavo. It's your turn. It's your, uh, it's your time to shine. But first we gotta, we gotta make him take a shower and go to the bathroom. Because this is these are the important things. Backslash for the win. Hello. The library offers peace of quiet unlike any other venue in town. Find a place to relax, take in the literature that abounds, and get your study on. Yeah. Alright, let's uh let's let's make him totally okay, and then we'll go to our career. Even though he doesn't start for like another fifteen hours. Whatever, it's okay. Doesn't matter. Bunny Boo Sweetie. Oh, Gage. Hey, Gage. What's up? The, yep, the one with the cool glasses. I was just about to say, you gotta let me know when those glasses get repaired. Alright, let's, uh, let's style some Sims. Offer a makeover to, uh, there's only, like, two people here. And they left. Well, so much for that. <laughs> we could be a tattoo artist. I would have him, like, work on, like, studying and stuff, but we need a drafter table for that. What the hell? Oh, wow. Jasmine is bringing in the dough. We were, like, super poor before. She wants to solve another case. She is, uh, she is really stressed out, though. Go home! Go home, young young witch. Aw. Derp went to go study. Hey, your studies are important. Oh, she can't play online yet. Of course. 
We're gonna play a racing game. Because she's she's very, 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 very tired and, and angry and yeah. Alright, let's go ahead. We're gonna try and buy him a drafting table. So he can study up on his um stuff. Here it is. How much is it? Just can't win. You know, we'll get him a drafting table, but we won't get Jasmine her her alchemy station. You know, what what kind of world is this? Where's the drafting chair? How much is the chair? It's 150. Jesus. Gustavo, your 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 line of work is rather expensive. Research new fashion concepts. Wow. That speed is it's going up pretty good. <laughs> Let's hope this turns into the Super Saiyan version of a nerd. <laughs> His glasses get bigger. What happened? Life is easier when groups share common values. Jasmine Ebert gained enough nerd influence to join the social group. What does she want to do? She wants to skip work? She can't skip work. She's an investigator. Okay, cool. We can, uh, we can quit playing this. Oh, she wants some autumn salad. She's a vegetarian. Fedora gets more and more tilted. <laughs> he powers up his suspenders, change colors. <laughs> oh, man. He's going to sleep until fully rested. Yeah, I'll, I will allow it. It's pretty late. Go ahead and eat that. Enjoy your, enjoy your beautiful salad, you, you, you human. Perform a stunt show for tips. Oh, wow. She made a, a large salad. And then we'll have her sleep. There we go. And she broke the toilet. Good job, Jasmine. Jeez. All right, we did it, and we're gonna let them sleep because I realized belatedly that the reason they sleep is because no one else is awake ever. So you're gonna have to. Oh wait, 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 wait! You can fairy repair that and then use it. But first, you gotta have some uh, some salad, Gustavo. Always amazed at how they end up breaking toilets. I know, seriously, I don't break a toilet as often as these guys do. The true evil, he didn't pick up his plate after he ate. That is slightly disturbing. He is fixing the toilet. That looks very strange. Is that just me? <laughs> Good job, Gustavo. Woohoo! That cost him magic, I think. Gustavo Heller just grasped the basics of painting. <laughs> All right, way to laugh evilly over. I don't know. You aren't even fully awake, child. What is wrong with you? All right, let's go ahead. We're gonna send her into like, do some low-level police work or something. Oh wait, she wants to do a stakeout of the. Oh, she wants to study at the library. Okay, never mind. We'll visit the library. Starts work in two hours. Take sketch. Is that what's actually supposed to go in here? We'll just pop that in there. Yep. Jasmine Ebert is feeling bookish. Study at the Library of Lore. Alright, well. How do you study? How does one study? It? Is that a thing? Is that an option? I can do this? Do I just read a book? Or is it an actual action that I must do? Read something. Just, just read something. We should uh, probably go to work 
and stuff. Yeah, okay, we're gonna follow Gustavo. Go make the world a bit more beautiful. That's one way to fix a toilet, yes. It's definitely, yeah, I think, I'm pretty sure he went into the toilet as a fairy in order to fix the toilet. It was, uh, it was pretty, it was pretty exciting. Gustavo, buddy! You're looking pretty good! Alright. Let's see, let's offer a makeover. Dante! I can't keep giving you makeovers, man. Got Gustavo has available stylish work to do. I do. What? How do I do this? Perform job. New sleepwear. Alright, let's do it, buddy! Did he just scare me? I, I like to think of myself as good looking. Well, I know I am. I'm so good looking that I'm certain my neighbors look through my windows to admire me. To make sure that I look great while I'm sleeping, I need you to style a fantastic sleepwear ensemble. How do I do this? Will you two stop attacking each other and, like, actually do work? How about that? New sleepwear for Annie Nix. How do I do this? <laughs> Offer makeover to... Where is she? I'm so confused right now. You guys don't understand. How do I do this? What am I supposed to do? I don't understand. Offer makeover? Where is Annie? Am I supposed to go to her? Is that how this works? Okay, let's see. What do we have? What are our options? Just saw the ghost of Olivia Goth. Where is the person that I'm supposed to... Helen Hall? I'm supposed to design something. How the fuck am I supposed to design it? Oh, boy. Oh, Annie! There she is. She came. She wants new sleepwear. There we go. After swimming in the toilets. I think I made him take a shower afterwards. Gustavo needs to spread his magic. You know, fairy magic. Everything is explained away with magic. I believe it. Alright, let's give her some new... Excuse me. Sleepwear! All right, well, she wants to look super good for when her, her neighbor's looking at her at night. I think I think that looks pretty good on her. Let's give her let's give her some um let's give her let's give her some accessories. She's got to really accessorize at night, like wear some some glasses. Um she's got to have some earrings on. Let's give her Oh, we can't see them, but you know we know they're there. We know we know the earrings are there. That's all that matters. We'll give her We'll give her some crazy some crazy jewelry at night. Maybe we'll give her like a, a throat collar thing. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. This is good. We're 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 on the right track, I feel. I feel like we are making very good decisions right now. Maybe not that one. <laughs> And we gotta give her some uh, some knee socks. Oh wow, look at that! She looks like a hooker. <laughs> oh, we have the phrase. Oh wow, which means shut up. It's magic. It's generally used in D and D. Pretty much, the plot doesn't make sense. Sounds about right. Yeah. New sleepwear for Annie Nix. Oh, was I supposed to add a sleepwear for Annie Nix? Okay, we'll add another one. We'll do another one for her. We'll, we'll give her some some nice some cover up. There we go. Perfect. And now 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 we also need to change her hair as well because I am a stylist and your hair is awful. Oh oh, look at that! Look look at it. That's so beautiful. We need to uh, we need to ensure that it is the reddest it can be though. All the red. Perfect. Beautiful. Gustavo, my man. I actually really like the, the gradient effect we've got going on. Perfect. I think, I think she looks fantastic. Yep. There we go. Bam! My, but uh, did I really get a simulator from that? <laughs> 
congratulations on completing a new sleepwear for Annie Nick's makeover. Now, take a photo for your portfolio. Oh, I can do that. Take a photo. Yeah, we did it! I, th I think she likes it. Wait, did it not take? All right, let's uh, let's do, let's ask her to pose. Are you are you poltergeisting things? Where did he go? Did he just he asked her to pose and then walked away? Good job. You've captured a sim in the area. This new sleepwear photo has been added to Gustavo's portfolio. It's all like, stop taking pictures of the same thing, man. Stop possessing stuff. Do I have another? Oh, no jobs currently available. Well, that's okay. We can uh, we can offer some makeovers to um, some people in here. Not the ghosts, though. We can't give makeovers to ghosts. I don't know. Yeah, I know. She she went out and was just like... She just like wore her, her sleepwear. She was so excited to have new sleepwear. Would you stop starting fights with people? Like, let's just go do work, okay? Stop being evil for five seconds so that we can like actually... So we can actually like do stuff. Oh, finally. Jesus. <laughs> I forgot to put the photo in my... my... Alright, lady. Lady, lady. We need to get you some new everyday clothing. Clearly. I think, I think we're gonna go with some futuristic chic. Yep. There we go. Good. Good. Futuristic chic. I like it. I kind of like it. I think this looks very nice. Yeah. Let's get you some. Uh, let's get you some new hair, while we're at it. Wee. <coughs> 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 oh my god, the sneezes are back. I had forgotten about them. Oh wow, that is that is a very attractive hairstyle. Oh, but I think this is the one. This is the one, Madame. We need to. We're gonna make her hair. We're gonna make her hair gloriously gray. It's gonna be like, it's gonna it's gonna look really nice. But we're also going to have like, oh yeah, look at that! Rock your old age, lady. Rock your old age. Perfect. Done. Make her into a fifth element character. I don't actually know that. Bless me, thank you. Sneeze streams Saturday. Oh man, try saying that like five times fast. I've I've created a workplace where everyone's just yelling at each other. Gustavo Heller just styled Helen Hall. I think she was laughing at her. Sir, we need to take a photo of this lovely hey, could you like get out of the way? Thank you. There we go. Few photos. I did not get a photo of my well, we tried. 2% complete. We have all of these beautiful photos in our <laughs> repertoire. Oh wait! This is the woman that I worked on! Take a photo. There we go. Got it! I got her that time! It's good! Artist, Gustavo Heller. <laughs> oh, oh my... Oh my. <laughs> Alright, let's see. Who could we offer another makeover to? No one. No one else is here. Olivia thinks Gustavo is okay. I appreciate Sims. Hello, Michelle. Nice smile. The portfolio? Let's see. Let's take a look at the beautiful portfolios. Oh, wait. Hang on. Okay. So we have a vampire. I don't know if you guys can see this very well. We also, oh, that's a sketch. We have tools of the trade. See, I, I did this man's hair. A sim in your air, in the area. Oh, I got a really good picture of her, actually. Let's, uh, let's take that one out. <laughs> oh, I think we took the picture and it just automatically went in here. That's awesome. Uh, all right, so these photos are all, like, completely useless, then. Tools of the trade. We'll just, 
take all of those out. Yeah. Yeah. See? That's what happened. All right. There we go. So we have the one image in here that is amazing. Yes. Very good. Very, very good. Freaking Gustavo. You need to take some, like, classes. Yo. Offer makeover to... There's no one new in here! We've already made over all of those people. We don't need to make them over again. She wants to do low-level police work. I think she needs to go home and eat first. <laughs> Chicky Poo is about to, like, pass out from hunger... St from starvation. I was about to say from hunger starvation. That's exactly what I wanted to say. The Sonic theme... Whenever Annie comes on, Annie. <laughs> ah, what is this? Oh, I didn't. I didn't buy a trash can. Oh, whatever. It doesn't matter. <laughs> I'm sure it's fine. Make sure you throw that away. Thank you. All right, we'll have her use the bathroom, take a shower, and then we'll have her go do some um low-level police work. Power studying. How on earth am I supposed to do this? The library. Find a place to relax. Take in the literature that abounds and get your study on. I'm so confused. I have no idea. Alright, well. Let's go all. And we'll have her go to the police station to do some low-level police work. We'll have her perform feats of logic. <clears throat> um, oh, he's on the clock. Well, since you're on the clock, let's just go ahead and have you, uh, actually, you know what, you, you have some serious needs to, to eat. He's not gonna eat her autumn salad because he's like, I need to eat my beautiful food. Exciting investigative work of finding mouthwash and helping cats from trees. You know? Where'd she go? Oh, she went to go work. She went to go do that thing I told her to do. <laughs> He wants to play a trick on Dante Morganth. You know, I believe it. Let's take an evil shower and we'll we'll clean that and then use it. He's a perfectionist. Don't you know? Gustavo is a daredevil sim, which means he likes to take many things to the extreme. Hover over any trait. Appreciate sims. He, he's the only people flirting with Gustavo right now are ghosts. It's pretty good. Pretty proud of you, Gustavo. You're hitting it right. You're getting all of the people who matter. Hang on, cell phone. I have to use the restroom. You know, you can't just answer a phone when you have to pee like mad. Dom, Dom, Dom. All right. Continue your sketch. Oi, excuse me. Well, I think we've done enough work for today. She did 56 simoleons worth of work. We, uh, let's, oh. We need to get, uh, we need to get ourselves a case. Although we also really need to study, apparently. I can stake out. I can do a stake out here. Murder in Pleasant View? Would that be would that be studying? I have no idea what I'm supposed to do here. Oh, we need to throw this trash that I have in my inventory away. <laughs> Wait, there's a basement. What is this? Oh man, secret basement. Research alchemy. Holy shit, there's 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 secret stuff down here. Must be transparent relationships. <laughs> Look, Ma! Look, Ma! <laughs> All right! Research in alchemy! Jasmine Ebert just grasped the basics of alchemy. She'll always remember the moment. Vial of bliss! All right, well. Mix an elixir. I don't think we have what we need. 
to mix an elixir, but oh, we do apparently. Any food ingredient. I'm gonna make a vial of bliss. Look at her go! She's doing witch stuff. One day, we will have our own alchemy station. I promise, child. You know what we haven't done? Did we make him a kleptomaniac? I don't even remember. No, we did not. Oh. Behold, Jasmine Ebert has created her first elixir. Alright. Let's, uh, let's go home, child. She's bubble bath. Clean up and clean out bad food. All right. Well, we have made some, some serious, some serious, you know, forward, forward motions. Sims who don't who drink this won't be bored or lonely anytime soon. Recycle. World brew bubble bath. Why do I have bubble bath? Things you ask yourself. You decided not to study. Well, I tried to study, okay? I left her at the library for like 20 hours. Recycle. It's not like it just sort of didn't happen. Alright, let's see. What else? Oh, I has... I has... Uh, a message? Oh, yes. Hi, Lou. Backslash for the win. Alright, well, Gustavo is in fact asleep. We should, uh, we should sell these. These beautiful paintings. They're amazing. All of them are worth so much. Oh, I woke you up and I didn't mean to. Sorry, Gustavo. Have we not researched, like, five sims? Oh, we've done four. Research new fashion concepts. He is energized by the moonlight. All right, well, I think we, uh, I think we are at a very, very good place. In the lives of Gustavo and Jasmine, I think we're, I think we're in a very good place. So, I think, uh, I think that's a pretty good time to stop this live stream for today. I hope you guys had a lot of fun. I did. I don't know. I always have fun playing The Sims. It's, it's just one of those things. It's a lot of fun to play. But I do think it's time to stop. So, you know, I can go on about my weekend. And I do have to do some recording this weekend, though. Gotta get some videos out and stuff. Gustavo's just improved his painting skill. So let's go ahead and start the save process because this takes a year and a half. At least it does on my laptop. All right. That said, I love you guys very much. Thank you so much for stopping by, my little spud muffins. Um, for those of you that are not subscribed to me on YouTube, I am mostly a YouTuber, not a live streamer. I just kind of, I just kind of live stream for fun and random times during the week. I try to aim for Saturdays as the series one, but I will sometimes live stream during the week, randomly. Don't expect it to be during a moment that I, you know, shout out. I'm like, ah! Love you too, backslash for the win. And, uh, yeah, definitely. Awesome job, guys. Lots of fun. I love you very much. Thank you for coming by. Bye!